Everything in this world exists in a context. And one of my favorite ways to explain that is with shoes. So I brought in my hiking shoes here. And um, I can prove with decades of experience, of personal experience, that size 10 is the best size. This size is perfect. It fits perfectly. And without a doubt, I can say size 10 is the best size for me. This metaphor for context is one of my favorite things to just remind myself when I'm working with young students and really for life in general. But everything exists in a bigger context. And if I'm going to be here giving advice about practicing or anything, even just working with young children, I think it's important to have this disclaimer out there. Now, I'll give a couple of examples where context is everything. Um, Mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell everybody in the whole world what you did to me as a child. I was not a morning person, and my mother decided for a period of time that before school was the best time for me to practice. And I remember really not liking that. I'll add another thing. She had me do my review pieces, which was not my favorite part of practice, but I bring this up because now I've taught for a couple decades and I can say <laughs> with experience that for most young students, morning practice is life changing. It's empowering. They've accomplished something great even before they've gone to school. They feel good about that. It makes them feel proud and they bring that confidence into the rest of their day. Not only that, not only that does it organize their mind, it just kind of gets them grounded. It's a real success principle. So practicing in the morning is a fantastic piece of advice for most young musicians, but for some it would break the experience and be the end of their violin career. So that's a great example of some context. Another thing that I think really illustrates how context comes into play is shoulder pads. I absolutely love the Bone Musica. I've been using it for years. A lot of my students have um, switched to this. I love the poly pads also, but these are all based on body types, you know, sloping shoulders, broader shoulders, what point is somebody at in their development? Are they shifting yet, et cetera, et cetera. So things like shoulder pads and the chin rest, those are highly contextual parts of the violin playing experience. I think it's important that we keep these in mind as we work with young students and whether you're a parent or a teacher at home, and just keep that in the back of your mind. One of my favorite resources, it's on my Things I Love page, is a book called Helping Parents Practice by Ed Sprunger. And not only is the content just exceptional. I'll let you check it out. I'll put a link below. But he put a yellow circle on the cover of the book. And that's symbolic of a yellow light, which he thinks is symbolic of parenting. Parenting is a constant discernment, constant quick judgment call, stop or go. And so that yellow circle, I think, again, kind of fits into all this context, discernment, constant judgment, tune in, check in with your young students. They're constantly changing, constantly growing. And just in the back of your mind, remember, size 10. Thank you and hope to see you in another video.